According to a recent news article in the Toronto Star, Toronto currently has a record number of condo units listed for sale. In this video, we'll explore this article and find out why we're currently seeing a surplus of condo units on the market. And we will also discuss possible reasons why these condo units are not selling. Hi there and welcome. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Sonia Ramgobin, Realtor with Remax Rural Properties, servicing the Durham region and GTA. Let's get right into this news article. So the article states the following, the Toronto area had the highest number of condo units for sale for any month in recent history. So to give you some perspective on the number of units currently on the market, according to Treb stats, we're looking at over 8,000 condo units listed for sale in the month of May, and this is going on into the month of June as well. Keep in mind that 8,000 plus units the article is talking about is referring to condo apartment units. This number does not include condo townhouses. So let's go over one of the questions that many of you may be asking. Why are we seeing so many condo units up for sale? Well, according to the article, they believe the current spike is largely due to investor-owned units flooding the market. Let me give you some background information to help you explain this further. So about three to five years ago, many people purchased pre-construction condo units, and now those condo units are being completed. In other words, they are now being built and ready to be lived in. Like mentioned in the article, it's important to keep in mind that many of the people that purchase these pre-construction units purchase them not to actually live in them, but purchase them as investments. Many of these investors were hoping to sell their condo units when the sale was finalized and profit from the increase in value. However, due to the lack of interest in buyers to purchase these units, many of these investors are struggling right now. Some investors have thought of renting these units instead of selling them, but the high interest rates have increased their mortgage payments, making investing more expensive. So in many cases, the average investor's expense is greater than their gain. So for example, if you were to add up their mortgage payments, property tax, and maintenance fees, the total amount would be greater than the rent income they would receive. So for many investors, it's not sustainable for them, and that's why they're having to sell. So now that we know one reason why we're seeing a surplus of condo units for sale, let's get into to the next question. Why are these condo units not selling? There are several factors that contribute to the current decline in condo sales. So based on this article, one of the primary reasons these condos are not selling is due to high condo prices. Many buyers don't feel that it's worth it to purchase a condo unit at the prices that they are currently listed for. In other words, many potential buyers feel that they aren't getting enough space for the price they have to pay for these units. Another factor impacting condo sales is high interest rates. Many people are having to come up with creative ways to afford a home. So what's happening is that many families are joining together to purchase a property. I've seen situations where children are joining up with their parents to purchase a home or even siblings teaming up together to afford to purchase. So based on these particular situations, there are now more people living together and these condo units do not fit their space requirements. So these families end up looking for other options. Lastly, buyer preference is also affecting condo sales. What I mean by this is, since COVID, work life has changed for a lot of people. Many people are still working from home. Because of this, many people are looking to purchase a home that has enough space for a work area. Like mentioned before, most condo units currently available don't have that space requirement. And on top of that, many people who work from home are taking advantage of the fact that they can live anywhere. They don't need to take travel time into consideration. And because of that, they're looking um, further out into other cities where they can afford to get more home for their money. Overall, it seems like condo sellers will require to be a bit more patient, have new strategies in place, and perhaps a price reduction to get their units sold. On the other hand, for first-time buyers that may appreciate condo living, this surplus of condo units could mean finding a home at a more affordable price. So there's lots to consider here. I hope this video gave you an in-depth explanation of why we are currently seeing a surplus of condo units currently up for sale and a better understanding of why these units are taking Taking longer to sell. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out. I'm always here to help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.